Hey guys, Sam here. So I'm here with another video of displaying multiple alerts. So in the previous video, we have seen how to set up a single alert. So this is pretty much what we did to set up a single alert. This is a similar core for that. And I'm going to show you what I did in the previous video. So I've set up an alert for that, for a function, and I just called it in the action. All right, so here's a button and here's the alert. The alert title and the message and the action close. All right, this is pretty much what we did in the last video. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up multiple alerts which are po which pops up when you click a button. And we're gonna we also gonna add in some actions to that like when you press an alert it should direct you to another website or another URL whichever you give it all right that's what we're gonna do so let's jump into the code and let's go ahead and start it all right so now we want to set up multiple alerts so we're gonna give multiple actions to it so that's let alert action there's only one action but we have set up till now so we're gonna give multiple actions to it so alert action 2 this is UA alert action we're gonna give the title as well like open link you alert action of default handler will be nailed for now and let's set up another alert action 3 this is a similar the title you can give whichever you want I'm just giving it destructive or I can give whatever you want right so I want to give it cancel handler will be nil for now right so now that we have set up the alert actions we need to just add it to the alert controllers Alert controller. I'm sorry. So let's set up the alert controller dot add action. The second action is alert action two, and the third action is alert action three. Dot add actions alert action three. All right. Now that we have added the actions and we already presented it and we are calling the function in the alert button action. Let's build and run this and see what we got. Alright, the bell succeeded and there's a simulator, here's a button, just press it. So here are the alerts, the close, open link and close link. So we can actually change this alert as action sheet as well. I mean, I'm sorry, it's election sheet, alright. So let's see what we get with action sheet alright there is a simulator press the button and this is the way it displays for action sheet alright now that we have this we are gonna set up some action for this open link alert alright when you press this open link alert it should redirect you to another URL so let's set up that we are given the handler as nil right here if you want to set up some action we need to give it in the handler section so let's open curly braces and close curly braces all right so we need to say action in because we're gonna set up some action for that put an action in it so we're gonna give some URL right now. So that URL string is URL string value. I'm wanna redirect it to apple.com. You can pretty much wanna give whichever you want. So now that we get given the URL, we need to open that. We need something to open the URL up, right? So that's UI application dot shared dot open yeah 
so this UI application when an app is launched this UI application is called and thus the shared class is called by that so if you want to know about this UI application you can just press and hold command and click on that UI application it will redirect to your page of your application whatever it is and you can read it in the quick help section so let's get, go back to viewcontroller.swift and uh, we need to set up the URL URL is URL string options I don't want to give any options right now so I just want to press it this way and completion handler will be nailed for now alright now that we set up oh it's yelling at us so let's click on that and see if something is missing oh it's just click fix it on that and it fixes it alright now that we are given pretty much everything we'll run this and see if it redirects alright the bell is succeeded There's a simulator and button. Now if you press open link, it should redirect you to another site. That's apple.com. That's it. So let me walk you through what we did. So at first we have set up the alert controller and alert action. We added few alert actions and added them to the alert controller right here. And then we presented the with the present view controller scene. At last we call that function in the action and there you go there you have it thank you for watching